thank you so much for checking out this 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. I'm gonna go around the outside here first and show you the outside of the vehicle. Got a really sharp appearance on the front end with those LED headlamps. It's got these nice rims, some all-terrain tires. Nice body lines on the sides there. See the limited badging right there in the on the back. Also got these parking sensors, which is super nice, of course. Going around the front again. Now I'm gonna show you the interior of the vehicle. But first we got these blind spot monitoring triangles in the mirrors here. Part of the safety group. Right off the bat, you see that beautiful wicker beige interior with the black trim. Memory seats, power mirrors with power windows, automatic down and automatic up. Got the power seats. Turn that wheel straight there. So we got tons of different customizations here in the cluster with these buttons. And we also have the adaptive cruise control, which is super nice for those long highway commutes, makes it super comfortable on long, long drives. Also a shot of your entertainment screen here. This is the nice 10.5 inch display. It's got heated seats and a heated steering wheel with a remote start as well. Dual climate, you got your fan controls there. And you can also control your climate from the screen as well. Tons of other cool stuff in there we can check out when you get here to look at it. Here's a shot of those beautiful wicker beige seats. Now I'm gonna show you the back as well, back seats. Super, super roomy, lots of knee room. I'm six foot one and I can fit back here pretty easily. My knees don't even touch this whenever I'm comfortable up there. You guys got the heated seats in the back as well, which is really nice for your rear passengers and the climate. Got these LED lights up here. And these seats actually fold down too if you don't plan on having anybody in the back for some of those long trips. You got this nice big storage area. Now let me show you the back. Speaking of storage area, Automatic lift gate on the rear. Nice big storage space here. The best part is you got a full size spare with an actual metal rim that doesn't look terrible compared to some of the donuts you see. Storage space down there too. And you have a little case here. This actually comes off. And it reveals this spot where you can have a tow package installed in the future if you'd like. Let me put that back on. Super, super easy to install back as well. Just a couple locking points. I'll put that back on here in a minute. It's hard to do that with one hand. And your button is on the inside here if you want to shut this. So instead of having to reach all the way up here, you can just reach on the inside and touch that. It gives you an audible warning and then shuts it automatically for you. Another really nice thing about this is you see how it says hold the set. You can actually adjust your height of your lift gate to any height that you prefer. Like let's say you have a garage and you don't want it to go all the way up to hit something. 
you can actually adjust it like this. That is your new spot that it will stay at. Hold that for three seconds. Listen for the chime. And now it will shut and it will never go back above that. I really appreciate you checking out some of this with me. If you have any other questions about any of the things I showed you, please let me know. I look forward to meeting you. Bye-bye.